Alright, so I wasn't feeling good and I was bored, so I just sat here and basically shaked out. Well, last night I made this one. And then today I made this one a little bit longer. They're a little pendant slash um, screen printer squeezies. And those are the big ones. I haven't glued these in yet. But uh, that's what the screen printer looks like. Now I'm going to show you how I made it. It was real simple. It only took me about you know, five, ten minutes. It took me about ten minutes to make that one. Because it was the first one. And it took me about five minutes to make this one. Uh, to start off with, you need uh, some rough sandpaper and some fine sandpaper. Just for trying to make it smooth. Smooth it out with the this and the tools you will need I've got over here let's see I found this that I made the actual squeegee part out of which is actually a squeegee in and of itself so that's kind of cool and then I use this let me get one of them I use this to make that mark there and then fade it off to the back so that it has less of a lip back here than in the front. Okay. And then uh, I use this file a little bit for some fine tuning stuff. I use the razor blade for trimming this stuff. And uh, this is the block of wood I made it out of. <clears throat> that piece used to sit in there like that. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. If you're into screen printing, you'll make a little pendant. I'm, I've still got to uh, get some type of eyelet to, so I can drill a hole in it to make it uh, a hanging necklace type thing. And I don't know if I'm going to stain it or not. That's why I made a second one so I could stain one. And if I didn't like it, no big deal. I don't know if I'm going to stain it or not. I might, uh, I might, I might mark it up with colors because uh, you see all the squeegees. They're all now. If they were my squeegees, would look like this. But I got a lot of these. Not this one, but a lot of these I got from Craigslist. And while the blades are semi-clean, uh, they were kind of messy. Now I got the aluminum ones. So yeah, it's a cool little quick project. And you can replace a lot of the stuff. The only thing that's kind of important to, to make it go fast is having some type of round file. But <clears throat> since your finger's round, you could, you could get your finger behind it the paper. You could do that with sandpaper by bending it like this or taking a, a pencil and wrapping the sandpaper around a pencil and it would do the same thing. And you could literally do the entire thing with just sandpaper. But uh, to cut it out I used this saw. And uh, yeah, so good luck with that if you want to make one. They're kind of cool. I think, you know, if you're into screen printing. Peace, chicken grease. All right, a little addition to the video. I know I ended the video with showing how I made the little squeegee, but then I thought, what's a little squeegee without having a screen? A little miniature screen printing screen. I'm gonna put some emulsion on this and burn an image to it. And then I'm gonna make another squeegee that's got rubber. Actually, this squeegee would probably work fine. It's plastic. It'd probably work just, just fine. 
I almost screamed for something with it just to be stupid. <laughs> what, 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 what? It's my miniature screen. I think it's a 240 mesh, 200 mesh, maybe 120, 150, I don't know. On a screen that was ripped up, had holes in it, so I cut a piece out. Got to build a miniature screen printer now to hold all of that. 